Sharing notes in Evernote allows seamless collaboration, understanding the sharing settings and permissions, well, that's crucial for effective teamwork. Hi, I'm Dave Edwards. I've discussed sharing notes in Evernote before, but I keep getting questions. So today I wanna to spend more time showing you how I use these functions in my personal life and in my business. When sharing notes, the first thing you need to do is to decide what kind of access you wanna provide. Your options can include can edit and invite, can edit or can view. Here is a note in Evernote. Let's click on the green share button. And when you do, you will get a number of options. One is to create a shareable link. And if I want to share this link with a group of individuals, I can enable this and then it automatically creates a web link. I can copy this link and then I can go into my email program or in any other note and I can paste the link there. Anyone with that link will be able to view my note. The beauty of this system is that the person who clicks on this link will always see the latest version of my note. So if I modify this, if I add information to this article, when you click on this link, you will find all of the latest information. So if I send you this link today, but I add some new information tomorrow, and you open this link tomorrow, well, you will see the updated content. Now, I can also invite people. I can give you permission to edit the note or just view the note, or I can disable the shareable link. I use this uh, in a lot in my consulting business. So if I have information I want to share with a client, I will put it into Evernote and I will send the link to my client they will have access to the information. If I want to be collaborative, I give them privileges to edit the document. You'll also notice here, you can just email a copy of the note. And here, you just enter their name or email. It fills in the subject of the note and the subject line. You can add additional information if you want. Another option is, you can ask Evernote to send you a copy. And then once you do all this, you hit send, and an email is sent with this information. For notebooks, right-click on the notebook name in the Mac version or on the Evernote website. You open the notebook, click the menu button, and choose to stop sharing if you want. These steps ensure efficient control over who can access and edit shared content. Collaboration becomes seamless when utilizing Evernote's sharing features. The ability to set permissions, share notes directly within the app, email static copies, and generate public links, well, that'll cater to all sorts of collaboration needs. Whether working on a shared project or disseminating information, Evernote sharing capabilities provide flexibility and control over collaborative endeavors. I use it every day. I'm Dave Edwards.